This video is sponsored by Gucci Guilty. I'm just kidding. I wish. Hey, Gucci, if you're listening to me, um, holla at your girl. I need a refill. <laughs> I would love to sponsor you, Gucci, but you got to come and watch my video, Gucci. Somebody tag Gucci, man. Gucci, where you is, Gucci? <laughs> no, this is my favorite. Oh, my <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Barry Faye, here to do another video on this look here. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you haven't already, and stay tuned to see what's popping. A little bit deeper and darker. It's called Freak Show. I don't know about no freak show. There ain't no freak show around here. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. See, it just added like a hint of purple, just to look, make it look a little bit more, not sensual, but kind of sensual. <laughs> I'm gonna take this color hot pants and asphyxia. I don't know. I'm taking this purple and this pink and I'm gonna mix them together and put them on my lid. Okay, I'm gonna put the pink down first. Oh, this is really pretty. Really not what I was expecting it to look like, but it'll work. Then I'm gonna take that purple and put it over it just to get it. And I'll spray my brush and apply the second coat in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the edges again using that same old brown transition color. Using transition colors definitely like is a must. Cause you don't wanna look like you have rainbow, um, rainbow eyeshadow. It just kinda like calms everything down. If it wasn't hot, it would've been like a perfect day to do my makeup outside because it's like, so like, it looks so fall-like, but it's still hot as heck. So, definitely not going out. <clears throat> my whole face would melt off. So I wet the brush, and now I'm gonna go in with the same lid colors and reapply them to make it more vibrant. So you always wanna do the lid once without your brush being wet and then the second time with your brush being wet because the color payoff is extravagant. Like for real, for real. And I'm gonna do the same thing, wet my brush and do the same outer corner colors. That dark purple, see that? I need to tame my brows because the hair is growing back stupid fast. See? This look instantly became so much more dramatic when you add a second coat of every color while it's wet. It's just so beautiful. But you don't wet matte colors, guys. Only colors that have like shimmer. You do not wet matte colors it will be a powdery mess on your face trust me all right so we're gonna leave the eyes for now we're gonna go into the face for a little bit i changed my foundation routine for the summer and i just don't wear foundation anymore because it's too freaking hot here in the south of florida so i just decide to uh, decided to just use concealer and powdered foundation which is totally different from liquid foundation and the results are stupid beautiful like it's so cute for my concealer I'm using my handy dandy wet and wild concealer and this is in the color dark cocoa this concealer literally was like no more than five dollars I think it was like 3.99 so this concealer is bae 
get you some get you some but the only thing about this concealer is they don't have a lot of colors look how like perfectly it matches my skin and it's concealer so that is like beautiful and i'm just gonna conceal like under my eyes and stuff i didn't mean to do it down there i'm gonna get it right under my eye and drag it against where the um eyeshadow is and like clean it up using the concealer you see that this basically is like an eraser this is why I do my eyes first because if I had already did this part and then my eyes the eye makeup would have fell out and been all over the place and we don't want that because ain't nobody got time for that all the way up in there and cut that bit off right there and track it down a little bit so yeah like I said I'm only using the concealer under my eyes and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose I'm just stippling it in my face especially if I'm under my eyes you want to make sure you blend that good Look at that. It's like so flawless. <sighs> you ever just been so proud of your makeup and it's like it makes you want to cry? <laughs> so dramatic. I'm not crying, but you know, if I could, I would. This is like the best thing ever. Oh, I'm just so, oh. like not having to wear foundation is like low key. One of the best things about makeup. Like you don't have to if you don't need to. Look how it's like a clean little canvas and my things are all sharp and nice and just beautiful. So, there we go, there we go. Next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Mary Kay bronze for face powder. And this powder is going all over my face. I'm using this big old fluffy brush because it can get everywhere. And I'm gonna go ham. I like to start at the bottom because I work my way up to the top with the foundation. And it's like it barely just gives you a coverage but then it like does because it does. <laughs> See I like to like put it down there and then like, like when I use the powder foundation I feel so much more flawless and like no cake because it's not liquid and you know, it's just, ugh, I'm telling you, it's so much better. Well, for me, not, not probably not for everybody, especially if you have dry skin, it might not be the best for you. But it's like so much better for my skin than liquid foundation. It's like so effortless. Like it's like super duper barely there. I'm so in love, like, <coughs> <coughs> don't inhale the powder. <coughs> I didn't try to though. All right, let me get that forehead. The forehead. <coughs> okay, it's important when you're doing the forehead because you don't want to um, miss a spot. So what I do is I just take the powder and tap it in place so I see where exactly it's going to cover and then I blend it out for the forehead like that's important all right so now that the concealer is set in place I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes <coughs> I don't know what I just did but it got me coughing and I'm so sorry <coughs> okay I guess my throat was dry I'm using my NYC liquid liner, not NYX. NYC, New York. Okay? I'm just gonna do something. Let me just do a small wing. Oh, I'll do a half, a half liner. I'm not gonna take it all the way in. My lashes be so long, they always in the way. So I'm just gonna stop it right there and let it gradually get bigger. 
making sure not to pass that concealer line of course it gradually gets longer too that's not what i want my stomach is growling so i need to hurry up i'm gonna take <coughs> this wet n wild lash primer i love this thing because it makes like the when i'm taking it off at night it makes my lashes come off so my mascara come off so much more easier and i know it's because of the primer because it's like i never usually use eyelash primer or mascara primer but now like my mascara doesn't like run when i'm ready to take it off it just comes off so i know it's because of this but yeah it's this is the wet and wild <laughs> lash primer i think i got it from walmart or no i got it from walgreens but i know walmart carries it too it goes on white and then it dries like clear so just fi and i go ham on this thing like i put so much because it does make a difference all primers make differences okay so now we're gonna apply some mascara i'm using this wet and <sighs> i just use like four wet and wild products in a row so i think i know what i'm gonna do for my next video i do i do i do i do I do. Anyways, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild waterproof Mega Protein mascara. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's going on. This thing is big. Look at that. Look. Child, let me finish. Ladies, it's very, very, very critical for you to take your time when you put on mascara because. It can make a break your makeup look. You don't want to go too fast and then you got mascara all over your eyes. Slow it down. Take a deep breath. Unless you're in a rush. Then do what you got to do. But if you're not in a rush, take your time. Caress each lash like it's your baby. <laughs> so I like to pull it apart after I've applied the mascara to it. Roll it down. Make sure if you make sure you have watched my how to get the most out of your mascara mascara video because it'll definitely help you. I give some pretty good tips, so make sure you watch that. I'll link it below. If I remember. Roll it down. Spread it up. Take it apart. Sing it with me. Roll it down. Spread it up. Pull it apart. One more time, one more time. Roll it down. Spread it up. Take it apart. Hey. You want to make sure you get that with little hairs in the corner because it makes you look like you got a lot of hair. So you want to make sure you get there. And I just like to keep it upward and just go up and down like that. Maybe side to side too. See that? They came alive. Don't forget those baby ones on the bottom. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because I gotta save my memory. Now I'm gonna go ahead in with this Jordana purple liquid liner and I'm gonna line my waterline to get get some more extraness under there. I'll shoot. See the difference? A small smudger brush and smudge that. I'm going to take another tiny brush and get in that inner corner of the eye using that same pink that was on the lid, using this pink here, as well as the bottom. To finish off the rest of the face, I'm not really going to contour, but I am, but I'm not. I'm just going to use my contour powders to warm up the face so it can act as a bronzer. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder. It's basically like a blush and highlight all in one. Switch gears to my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Enchanted. And Ugh. 
<laughs> I just broke it. I'm gonna be taking this red blush lip liner from Essence. This is a dollar at Ulta. I'm gonna take this Jordana Matte Modern Matte Lipstick. It's like it's called Matte Tease. It's like Barbie pinkish. I mean, I want to tone that down a little bit because it's just a little bit too much pink everywhere. So I'm gonna take this liquid lingerie lipstick and beauty mark and I'm gonna tap that in the center. All right, I'm gonna go spray my face and I'll be right back. And this is the final look. I am so in love with it. It looks so cute and so well put together. I think it's mostly because my hair is slick back. Like, mm -mm -mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me video. It's been a while since I've actually sat down and took my time and just did things more effortlessly. I hope you liked it. Um, I love the look. I hope you like it too. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And um, I'm so happy. I don't know what's, what's making me so happy. That's Jesus. It's so pretty. Like, I'm ready to take some pictures. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you haven't already. That should be the first thing you do every time you click on my video. Thumbs it up. Just, just thumbs it up. Just, just do it. Just do it. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a blessing. Just, just do it. Just do it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comment section what video you might want to see next. I will try to get to it. Special shout out to this palette because I used to neglect it because I thought it was not like me. But it did a pretty good job. I like these colors on my eyes. They definitely make my eyes pop a little bit more than, than usual. So I like this. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I'm just going to show you guys my outfit really quick and then I'm out of here. So this is my outfit. It's a, a top and it has, you know, this little cutout mesh here and it goes all the way down but it's like a crop top because at the bottom it crops and then I have a matching skirt this is the matching skirt